geological time scale is a system of dating rocks fossils and the events that have occurred on the earth from its inception till date it is similar to the gregarian calendar that we use in day to day life in which we have 12 months each month has 28 days to 31 days each day is divided into 24 hours in geological time scale there are four eons and each eon is further divided into eras eras are divided into periods periods are divided into epochs and epochs are divided into ages we have first three eons hadean archean proterozoic together called precambrian actually nothing much has happened in this uh, in these three uh, eons all right that's why it's called boring billion because it took about 1 billion years to complete these three eons it is the phenerozoic eon which is very very important and it was very very vibrant most of the activities like origin of life evolution of life and diversification of life occurred in phenerozoic eon and this is further divided into several uh, uh, eras and major eras are there are 12 major eras and all these details are available in the geological time scale that we will discuss in this uh, video and uh, there are two parts in this uh, video first part we uh, see the important uh, things about geological time scale later we will uh, uh, discuss about the major events that uh, have taken place in the construction of a geological time scale that we will discuss in the part 2 Welcome to this presentation on geological time scale. Geological time scale is a system of chronological dating of fossils and rocks by paleontologists, geologists and earth scientists. It is a time scale that is used by all scientists all over the world and recognized by international agencies it is used for determining the ages of fossils rocks and also prehistoric events here the earth scientists paleontologists geologists they will establish relation between events and the discovery of fossils until the discovery of radioactivity in 1896 whatever dating that was done was totally arbitrary and based on imagination it is only after the discovery of radioactivity it is almost perfect Geological time scale is governed by International Commission of Stratigraphy. There are some divisions in the geological time scale. The main divisions are eons, hadean, archean and proterozoic are the three ancient events. These three events are together called pre-cambrian also called super eon it is in this period that the massive explosion of origin of species occurred and diversification also occurred as you can see here in the table there are four eons the oldest is hadean earth and moon were formed in this eon Archean the very first life forms were emerged proterozoic the single celled organ organisms originated in this eon phenerozoic is the most vibrant of all the eons where origin evolution of most of the 
organisms occurred it is further divided into eras periods epochs and ages so this is a broad classification of geological time scale the different names that are used in geological time scale are named by different scientists for example the name triassic was coined by the famous scientist von alberti jurassic very famous period was coined by brogniart a brief history of geological time scale the concept uh, the foundation for geological time scale was laid by aristotle the same was uh, approved and accepted by da vinci and magnus but actually the geological st- time scale started with the work of nicholas steno who laid the foundation and laid the principles of geological time scale in 17th century so basic principles of geological time scale were formulated by nicholas steno initially later they were adapted by the others modified by the others so these are the pictures of the two main people responsible for geological time scale on the left hand side we have nicholas steno and the right hand side we have aristotle coming to the early history again Uh, several items and several contributions are there in the establishment of the geological time scale which is actually a relation between strata and the fossils discovered in different strata so these are the conclusions in the by the 18th century geologists important conclusion is the strata of any given area represents only the period in that now the next part is continued later where the further details of the geological time scale are discussed thank you very much i also thank all the resources from where i collected the information to make this presentation thank you very much and we will meet again in the next part of the geological time scale thank you